Right, so we have some exciting news, which is that LT Wu are making electronic uh, group set for the road. Now, this is it. We're going to go th talk through some prices and stuff in a, in a minute. But I reckon it will be 12 speed based on the mechanical version being 12 speed and hydraulic disc as well. How well it will work, no one knows. Uh, it looks very similar to a SRAM derailleur in some ways with the battery at the top, especially the front neck. These ones look more like Shimano kind of style buttons, I guess. For the copyright, the buttons can't be too hard to do, unlike mechanical where it's very difficult to do. This looks like a standard derailleur. I'm not sure why the battery is maybe there. Um, it says GRX, which is kind of like, or maybe it isn't, maybe it's RX. Anyway, it'll be interesting to see what they do with this. Now, the reason I think this is going to be a game changer is because I think it could actually be a reasonable price to have electronic shifting. Um, I'll get into some downsides in a minute, but I reckon, honestly, like it actually could be pretty revolutionary, um, this group set. So anyway, we'll go on to sort of, if you type in LT Woo now, you can see there's a lot of different options, but none of it. This is sort of the gravel group set here. You can see very similar, but obviously not uh, electronic. And you can see the cost. So the cost here, like for £312 um, for, for this group set. So you could imagine maybe 600 maybe 500 would be my prediction maybe 600 would be a, a reasonable uh cost a reasonable price for the electronic i mean obviously the rrp of this is 500 so maybe more more like 700 rp and then you could get it at like four or five hundred pounds this is a one by setup so i guess um if you get the front mech as well it's probably going to be a bit more expensive um for the gravel group set but again like here it looks like front mech as well 317 that's not bad is it like uh, if we compare this to 105 so let's say it's going to be like the upper cost of six seven hundred quid that'd still be mad cheap so you look at axis ride when you might go okay yeah but like you're not getting everything but with axis you have to buy the stupid chain rings and everything if you want to go full like flat top you have to get everything so that means you need to get the crank set and all the rest of it but most people you know they don't need that you know you're going to have a bike that has an 11 speed um chain ring so you don't need you can use 11 speed chain ring with 12 speed no stress um, and then you need to get a new free hub as well to fit this so even though you could say this is cheaper like 1200 quid it's still like a ridiculous amount we look at 105 di2 this has obviously come down from 1700 like it was never going to cost 1700 but 1200 is still a lot okay you get crank set but it's like 105 1200 quid like think how cheap this is going to be if we do the lt woo now you might say lt woo like do they do electronic group sets well yeah they do a mountain bike group set i've actually yet to see anyone buy it like honestly i would 100 percent try it out if i could get my hands on it but it seems very difficult to find um this this group set i haven't managed to see it on aliexpress really um this looks quite complicated with like cables and all the rest of it um but i assume maybe the future one will be wireless i, I have seen wireless prototypes um and then yeah that's basically it. So I guess it's similar kind of to like the video we saw on the Twitter. If we look on the, this Twitter um, page, I'd highly recommend following this guy on Twitter. Um, he's got some good stuff. You, you can see here, this is actually the kind of the same thing with like the wire connecting it. So maybe not a wireless setup. Um, you can see like this is obviously a prototype, but nonetheless, it's, it's pretty decent. I've also seen pictures of it on a bike as well, and it does look pretty good. So anyway, pretty exciting stuff with the, all of that. Um, you can see he's got some really like cranks as well. Um, but yeah, the LT Wu looks like, to be honest, if they're coming out with this, it'll be real big. I'd say that the biggest downside to an electronic group set, um, from LT Wu would just be warranty. Like, how do you warranty it? Because electronic stuff goes wrong, obviously. And, you know, it, it's not something which you want to throw away. You know, if you for front mech goes wrong on a mechanical one, okay, it's annoying, but it's not the end of the world. But in reality, uh, if your front mech went on this, it would be a bit more upsetting. So I think warranty may be the only issue. But apart from that, I think it could be a really, really exciting development in the world of bicycle technology for the normal people who aren't going to spend a million pounds on group sets. Um, but yeah, it would be pretty, pretty interesting to see how it performs, I guess, as well. But yeah, something to keep your eyes on in the future.